What's up, guys? Thanks for joining me for another lesson in the Nomad Shop class here on the School Zone. I have a quick build tutorial for you while I work on the longer deep dive into the Pillar Glitch video that's coming soon. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build these killer future tech turret towers that I featured in my Vault 42 build. You can see one behind me there. That's where I am now, and I'm hoping the game doesn't crash on me. As you know, if you've been following this series, I went way over the size limit here, and it's uh, very unstable, so to speak. That's why I've been doing most of these videos at my Abernathy Farm little workshop set. So if you see any weird cuts, it's because the game crashed and I had to reload. Hopefully it doesn't happen too often. Also, I got a great suggestion from a viewer named Fappy Pants to uh, change my outfit to the utility coveralls for these build videos. Cool idea! I had picked one up from the Automatron DLC and just had to dig it up out of storage. So there you go. Now I looked the part. <laughs> okay, so today's video is going to be part of the green circle lessons because there are no real tricks or exploits involved here. It's a pretty simple build, but you will need the Vault Tech DLC and you will need to have completed the full quest. That way you can build vault structures outside of Vault 88. Now, if you don't have the Vault Tech DLC, then you can use the same concept I'll show you with simpler building materials. It just won't look quite as cool, you know? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dismantle this tower so we can start over from scratch. Actually, before I do that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set down a little, a little mat to mark the, uh, the positioning so that uh, I can kind of put it in the same place. Good enough. Okay, so I'll be back in two shakes of a rad stag's tail. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Check this out real quick, though. <laughs> this is hilarious. Codsworth went into the outhouse on his own, so I just closed the door on him and told him to stay. Heads up. I'm all in. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so let's get to building. All right, so the first thing you want to do is head over to structures and then over to the vault structures and then over to supports, okay? Now you can use these double supports like I used over there because the hill was a little lower down. So it just depends on how high you want to make the turret and the height limit on the settlement that you're using. In this case, I'll just go ahead and use the single supports. Okay, good enough. All right, the next item you're going to look for is in the atrium section. And they are called... Column bottoms, so the atrium column bottom, and it should snap. Perfect. All right. Fits right on top of that support structure. Oh, okay. Then right back into the atrium section, you're going to look for the downside one. This one right here, the atrium column top. Now, I'm going to build some scaffolding in a second, but if you remember from my uh, five must-know settlement tips, you can actually hold the bumper and then press the select button to raise this thing up. And then also you can push it forward with the A button. And then at that point, it'll snap right into place. And we are two-thirds of the way done. So I'm going to head over to scaffolding, which I think came with the contraptions DLC. I think that's right. Either the contraptions or the workshop DLC. But anyway, I go into prefabs. If you don't have that DLC, then you can just build yourself a whole bunch of stairs. But this is a lot easier because, you know, it's already pretty much built for you. All right. So I'm going to set that down. And I head up there. All right. And then to get over to there, I just use a little... One of these little ramps. Good enough. Okay, you just need to be able to reach it. Now don't fall, because I'm wearing my utility coveralls. I'm not wearing my free fall legs, so I would probably die. But anyway, uh, with that technique I was just talking about, uh, we can set the turrets down from here. And we're gonna go into our defense section up to turrets. And then depending on your level of gun nut perk, I used these. 
So I'm going to set the first one right here. And the second one right here. And I'll go ahead and jump on it in a second to uh, perfect it a little more. But uh, love that technique. So we're just setting down these happy little turrets on this happy little platform here. That was actually for a viewer named Damien Mask. He said, I sound like the Bob Ross of settlement building. So there you go, Damien. Request fulfilled. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, I always want to quick save just in case you fall. And I'm going to jump over there and then just fine tune it a little bit. And you want to just try to scoot them as far as you can to the edge. Doesn't make too much of a difference, but if you can, it'll help. This is just for my OCD brothers and sisters out there. Okay, perfect. And then at that point, we can jump back over here and dismantle everything we've got going on as far as the scaffolding. Okay, perfect. So there we go. We got the killer gun tower. Now, the reason that this is so awesome is because when it comes to hitting enemies, the higher your turrets are, the greater line of sight they have. And they can only focus on a target when they have line of sight. And in this particular case, I happened to discover that the spawn points for the enemies when I was just first building this settlement, they always seem to come from down this hill. My bones that won't come out. Too many nights out sleeping in the fog. Well, now you're here in nice Vault 42 there, Longfellow. Okay, they always seem to come from down that hill or from up this hill, pretty much both directions of the railroad. I didn't find any enemies really ever spawning back here. So that's why you don't see too many uh, defenses up there. I have my guard post up there, you know, just in case, really more for aesthetics. But uh, anyway, yeah, the higher these turrets can get, the better angle of incidence they can get on the uh, enemies, and they have a better chance of taking them out before they even reach the inner parts of your settlement. So wherever you build this gun tower, if you can figure out where those spawn points are and then give these turrets a really good vantage point, then that will boost your defenses, not so much numerically, but just more practically speaking, as far as maximizing your defenses. So with these two gun towers here, no enemies so far have made it past uh, like the second row of trees here. It's pretty freaking awesome. So you gotta love it. Now, once I post my upcoming wiring through the walls video, I'm gonna come back and show you guys how to turn these gun turrets into laser turrets or even missile turrets completely seamlessly with no wires showing. So that's another option that you can do. I just happen to like the gun turrets because in my personal experience, they seem to be more accurate than the laser turrets. The laser turrets, I think, do a little more damage, but the, uh, the ballistic turrets seem to be slightly more accurate. They don't have quite as much of a spread. You know what I mean? And of course, the missile turrets, you know, are deadly for your settlers too. So I try to keep those way out of the way. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's lesson. Be sure to smash that like button if this video helped you out and share the video around. Also, for those who are interested, the settlement contest is still ongoing. I'm calling it the NMSC Challenge. The deadline isn't until I get near the end of the mini series, so there's no rush. But if you're thinking about it, the rules are in my intro video, so I'll leave links for that below. Thanks again for rocking so hard. Happy building and class dismissed.